Lecture 7, Graffiti, Public Art. Um, ask a couple good questions of why, you know, some people, uh, you have billboards everywhere, why can't you do the graffiti everywhere? And I think kind of the obvious answer is that they've, they've paid for the space and um, it's kind of theft of service when you paint on somebody's building that they've paid and labored for to, to do it. But... Uh, just to tag the building and just to make a name for yourself is, um, I don't think, a, being an artist, uh, it's, uh, that's more of a criminal, but um, if you want an open air uh, arena to show off your wares, I mean, you can always talk to the building like you, like all those other uh, incredible murals uh, obviously did and, uh, and put it out that way. Um, I know there's, uh, on personal level, I know there's a bunch of people that, uh, I think it's in France, that, uh, somebody goes around and he tags these giant murals and, um, but, uh, it's kind of interesting to, too, to see from Wicker Park to, to, uh, some of the other neighborhoods you go to, uh, the, the different mural styles in different neighborhoods, you know, one can be Hispanic. One could be African American, and uh, the, the Polish neighborhoods I didn't see were more uh, uh, Catholic or religious uh, murals. So I thought that was kind of interesting to see um, uh, the different tastes and different uh, directions people went. But um, okay, on to the home stretch. Uh, watch the rest of the films. More for later.